this weekend, the Minnesota Renaissance Festival returns to Shakopee for the 47th year. It's an experience for all of your senses. There's music, performances, an exotic petting zoo, and the Feast of Fantasy, which features an entirely new menu this year. You're in Bad Manor now. This is the King's Feast Hall, and, and we are the co-feast masters for the Feast of Fantasy. It's booze and food and party and booze and dancers and booze and there's chicken. Tell them about the booze, I think. Uh, there's a little booze. Yeah. So you're not you're not serving the food. You're entertaining the guests, right? Oh no, no. Or are you not even really entertaining the guests? Mm, you guess you'd have to ask yeah, that. Right? I, well, I would say entertaining <laughs> is a strong word. Dep that's depends a, on the booze. Yeah. A, it, it, really, the more people drink, the funnier this show is. That's our motto. <laughs> Chef, this seems like the complete opposite of the type of food that's being served at the state fair right now. This is really good stuff. Yeah, everything is gluten-free, vegan. Um, everything's lactose-free other than the salad, but we can replace that. Um, and pretty much everything is from scratch. We're not opening any bags other than the vegetables. Um, but everything's raw product, cooked off, rubbed, and prepared all scratch kitchen. Delicious. Really tender, juicy. Johnny uh, Phoenix. Fire eaters uh, on oh. So you can see a fire show. And this is you the know, place you want to have building. fire. Absolutely. This is the perfect place for fire. It's built by actors 40 years ago, not even good actors. Mm. So this is a place that you want to see fire. Yeah. What's under the kilt? Oh. Ah. That's... You, uh, why don't you just, could, do you mind just rubbing that for the people? That's 17 ounce military wool. I know there's Sounds a scratchy. Legend. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Key there's word. not enough baby powder in the kingdom to prevent the chafing. And that's not a place you want to chafe, is it? No. Seriously? No. No. So we are always wearing underwear. Michelle, I have never been this close to a porcupine before. Is this safe? It is safe. Okay. With, with Porky, it's this safe. Yes, absolutely. She just kind of looks it at your hand. She's a tongue kind of like a cat. This is wild. She is a ringtail lemur. They're native to Madagascar. She knows her food. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> yeah. May I pet her? She's pretty friendly. So soft. Oops. Kind of a texture of a teddy bear. Yeah. And then you just, you know, we're going to pin everybody. Here, I'll do it. Okay. Do you mind? No, not this at all. This is usually something Laszlo does. I'm not I'll, very I'll well. put it through here. Ow! Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm see, not really that's good why. with the pins. I apologize. That's why I'm so... You, do you want to do it? I'll get the alcohol. He's got a... I have a piercing now. Yes. <laughs> But you'll enjoy it, and so will everyone. There you go. Hey. You, are, you are now an official Feast of Fantasy patron. Congratulations. Hey, look at that. I had never been to that before. That was not at all what I expected. Mm -hmm. um, those guys were, were hilarious. Looks very entertaining. Yeah. You'd have fun out there. There's the pin. The pin is There's cool. The pin. Uh, if you go to the Feast of Fantasy, uh, it's fairly expensive. It's about $80 uh, for a ticket, but you get the food. You get a two-hour show. You get this, and uh, you get a, a grog to take home as well. So it's pretty a, sweet. It's a pretty good deal. So yeah, I can share that with you. Those we guys can were share fantastic. Custody with I, don't, I don't know if I want you to okay. put that on me. <laughs> Anyways, those guys look fantastic. The Renaissance Festival is today from 9 to 7 tonight in Shakopee. Tickets at the gate are $23.95 for adults, $14.95 for kids. Feast of Fantasy tickets, as like Mike said, are $80 to $100, yeah. but include admission to the festival as well as everything you just heard about stuff. and everything that you saw. And if uh, that one gentleman's voice sounded familiar, Jim, he is the uh, in-game host for the Twins. He's the in-game announcer for the Twins and for the Minnesota Wild. So. so he'll definitely entertain you. For sure. Yeah.